Now all new at 5, February is Heart Month, a time to raise awareness about heart health. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez spoke with a doctor and his patient who felt great on the outside, but it was a much different story on the inside. 65-year-old Jackie Clark has a lot to live for. I have a brand new granddaughter and a, a grandson, and I really want to be here for them. And also her grown children. Jackie is happy and healthy now, but just a few years ago, her life was turned upside down when she was told she had a severe heart condition and time was of the essence. And he'd say, I need to meet your family. I need to talk with them because there's some things we need to discuss. You need to have emergency surgery. Jackie had high blood pressure, hypertension, which led to an enlarged heart and abnormal heart contractions that if left untreated could have led to sudden death. It was quite a shock because she had no symptoms and felt great. Because he couldn't believe what he heard on my heart. It wasn't being at all. Her primary doctor then sent her to see a specialist, Dr. Arnu Blanchard, a cardiologist at Broward Health. Cardiovascular disease, you know, obviously, you know, hypertension is a significant part of this uh, disease. You know, it's very, very common you know, in, in the community overall, and in particular in the black, in the black community. Jackie underwent a heart procedure where a defibrillator was implanted. It's a small battery-operated device placed in your chest to monitor irregular heartbeats and kicks in if needed. All of us say we trust in God. That was the time I really had to trust him, and I did. And um, I didn't even know I had surgery. That's how smooth it was. Um, the scar is so small, you can't even see it. According to the American Heart Association, high blood pressure, hypertension in African Americans in the U.S. is among the highest in the world. Jackie underwent the procedure in 2017 and feels great. Her advice to everyone, especially the African American community, is watch what you eat, exercise, and get your annual checkups. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.